about to show you a technique called positional release technique. Some of you will have seen this before, PRT. It's a really great technique for anyone who is in acute pain or spasm. So in, they're in a situation where they're not going to really tolerate a lot of deep pressure, but even though they might require some deeper work in a, in a muscle that's harder to access. So we're going to start with QL, which we all know can be pretty uncomfortable in a lot of people to treat with soft tissue techniques. We're going to find a position of ease, which is going to take the pain away. So for the person who's in a lot of spasm or a lot of tension, it's going to be a really nice technique for them. So our PRT technique for the QL, we're going to identify the trigger point. So I'm going to find a trigger point in this lateral border of the QL on the left side of the low back. We find that trigger point and I want to elicit some symptoms, classic symptoms and signs of a trigger point. So that dull, achy feeling, possibly some referral, you may even get a twitch response. I would need to make sure that when I hit that trigger point and press it, that the symptoms don't come up too high. I don't want the patient to create any guarding or tension as a result of it. So we want to just bring on the symptoms, identify that we've got the right spot and then we're going to passively shorten that muscle. So the way we'll do that is get the patient to bend both of their knees up for me. And then I'm going to take both of those legs and bring them around so the hips come across and we laterally flex that trunk and shorten the QL passively into that position. So that should ideally find a position of ease for that muscle. Then what we'll find is even though we're holding the same pressure with our thumb on that trigger point, the symptoms of the trigger point aren't necessarily noticeable. They should come back down to maybe a two or three out of 10 or maybe even zero. Then we need to hold that position for 90 seconds. 90 seconds seems to be the magic number with PRT. We hold that for 90 seconds. After that time, we can move those legs back out, align the spine, come back, maybe do a few seconds of massage just to ease that, that point, and then go back into the same point with the same pressure that we started with. And ideally, what we'll find there is that those initial symptoms, those signs and symptoms of the trigger point are reduced back down if they've come down to say a five or six, we can bring the legs back up, find that position of ease again, repeat that same process, and we can do that two or three times. And ideally, we want to get those symptoms down to a zero if possible, which would indicate that we've deactivated that trigger point. So the whole process for PRT is find trigger point, elicit symptoms, shorten muscle passively for 90 seconds, hold that same pressure, move that muscle passively back into a lengthened or natural state, reassess the trigger point, try to find that we've dropped those symptoms down and that's the end of our technique.